This video is going to show how to use VisuMap to do data clustering analysis. Let's first start VisuMap with a sample dataset. This sample dataset contains the weekly price history of about 500 equity stocks in a year. This map is created with a mapping algorithm of VisuMap. In this map, each point represents a stock, and closely located stocks should have similar price history. We can verify this with the value diagram. VisuMap implements several clustering algorithms. They have similar user interfaces. For this video we are just going to show how to use the k-mean algorithm. In order to do so, we first open the k-mean control panel that provides us interface to change some settings for the algorithm. For instance we can set the number of clusters we want to create. More detailed parameters can be changed through the configuration button here. In our case, we just accept the default settings and start the clustering process by clicking on the start button. After the clustering process has finished, the left cluster window displays the clusters as spots of different size. Spots of larger size represent clusters with more members. We can select a one or more clusters and see their members highlighted in the main map. Similarly, when we selected one or more stocks in the main map, we can see their corresponding clusters highlighted in the cluster window. We can display the cluster centers together with their cluster members in a value diagram. We notice that the red colored curves here represent cluster centers, which is in our case the average price history of the corresponding cluster members. We can also configure the cluster map to visualize the values of a selected attribute. In order to do so, we just have to select an attribute here. We notice that the red colored spots represent clusters whose mean value of the selected attribute is smaller than the overall average value. And the green colored clusters have larger mean values than the overall average. The size of the spots indicates how far the cluster mean value is distant from the overall average. Since we have selected the last attribute, that is last weekly price average, we can easily find well or bad performing stock clusters for the whole year. From the context menu of the cluster map we can assign the different colors or shapes to the members of different clusters. We can also create new data sets with the cluster centers. And then view the map of cluster centers through the organizer. The clustering service also allows us to specify a filter object to filter or scale the data before applying the algorithm. For instance, we can create a filter that disables the data from the first few weeks, so that we cluster these stocks based only on data in the rest of the year.